one thing I know for certain that unites all high performers is you're looking to grow. You're looking to improve. You're looking to evolve. You're looking for that edge. And ultimately, that's why I'm here today, to help give you that edge. And I'm gonna tell you some more stories and give you some stats, but more importantly, I'm gonna give you some practical, actionable, and tangible takeaways, concepts and frameworks that you can implement immediately to do a variety of things. So here are the three areas that I want you all to heighten clarity. The first is your perspective. The second are your core values. And the third is your purpose, your perspective. I highly encourage you to look through the lens of the foundational mantra of transformational leadership, which is going through the world saying, this is not about me, this is about you. You should be able to look every single member of your family, your significant others and your children in the eye and say, this is not about me, this is about you. You should be able to look every single member of your team in the eye and say, this is not about me, this is about you. See, when you can focus more on what you want for people and less what you want from people, it's an absolute game changer. The second area that we need to heighten clarity is with our core values. What are your non-negotiables? What are the standards you use to guide your life and your decision making? What are the principles that you live by? both personally and professionally, individually and organizationally. We have to have clarity on those things. And when you have heightened clarity on them, it actually makes decision making easier. This doesn't mean you won't still have really tough decisions to make. I know that you will, but it makes it easier because now you have a framework to use. And that framework is as follows. With every single decision you make, you simply ask yourself, is this in alignment with my core values or not? See, when you can be the type of leader that leads based on core values and leads based on standards, not leads on emotion and feeling, which as sentient beings, as human beings, is always going to ebb and flow, then you become consistent. And that is one of the most important traits as leaders is to be consistent. So we need to lead through our core values and through our standards. And lastly, purpose. And don't confuse function with purpose. The function of that chair you're sitting in right now is to provide somewhere for you to sit. The purpose of that chair is to provide you comfort. The best group that I've ever seen do this is DHL, the International Shipping and Logistics Goliath. And DHL has a presence in, I believe, every single country in the world, and they have hundreds of thousands of team members and they work relentlessly to make sure, regardless of where that team member falls on the org chart, that that person is deeply connected to purpose. And DHL's purpose is we don't ship brown boxes, we ship promises. We don't deliver brown boxes, we deliver promises. They make sure that the person that's working in a remote country, in a remote town, in the warehouse during the graveyard shift, who is putting brown box after brown box onto truck after truck, they make sure that person knows that's not a brown box you're putting on a truck. That's a little kid's birthday gift. That's not a brown box you're putting on a truck. That's a future bride's wedding dress. That is not a brown box you're putting on a truck. That's somebody's medicine. They make sure that every member of the team is deeply connected to purpose. Now I have zero doubt that you all continue to be deeply connected to your meaning and purpose, but can you make sure that that resonates with every single member of your team, regardless of tenure and regardless of where they fall on the org chart? On an individual level, each of you as leaders need to have the self-awareness to know where your talents lie. What are your gifts? What are your strengths? What are the, the things that you can use, your inherent talents, to become more influential, more impactful, and resonate with more meaning with everyone that you work with. The second reason is I want you to ask yourself that same question organizationally, taking a look at your entire team. What are our collective strengths, talents, and gifts? What positions can we put people in that will give us the best chance to be successful and to have impact? And thirdly, I'm hoping after our short time together today that you will feel compelled and empowered to make your self-awareness and your team awareness part of that answer. Part of what will separate you as a leader and separate you as an organization is your self-awareness and your team awareness. 
And leadership starts and stops with your ability to show up as the best version of yourself as consistently as possible. And in order to do that, it can't be haphazard. It can't be luck. It has to be strategic because you've designed a life by filling your bucket with as many positive habits as you can.